What North Korea doesn't want us to know. Well, indeed, the people and culture of North Korea is fascinating, mysterious, and perennially in the headlines. The Democratic People's Republic of Korea, or DPRK, is always a fascinating subject of discussion due to the country's reputation as one of the most secretive in the world. Here at Country Facts, we have added some flavor to your discussions with North Korea, trying to bring up some of the more strange and entertaining facts. So we skipped the fluff and found the most surprising information about North Korea that you probably haven't heard before. So let's get started. There have been people who have tried to escape from North Korea. There is no definitive list of people who have attempted to escape, as the number of such cases is unknown. However, some of the more high-profile cases include South Korean journalists Ju Hee Jin and Park Yeon Seok, who were arrested in China in 2015 and sentenced to 12 years hard labor, and Japanese citizen Kinji Goto, who was captured by the Islamic State in 2014 and beheaded in 2015. Talking about the conditions for the inhabitants of North Korea are extremely dire. The country is one of the most repressive and isolated nations in the world, with a government that severely restricts freedom of speech, movement, and access to information. The economy is heavily controlled by the state, and most citizens live in poverty. Food shortages are common, and malnutrition is widespread. Access to health care is limited, and many people lack basic necessities such as clean water and electricity. Human rights abuses are rampant, and the government has been accused of committing crimes against humanity. Television's normal to us, but as North Korean people, can they even watch TV? Well, they have no other options but to watch the same three channels constantly. The weekend schedules for two of these channels are the same as those for the nightly schedule. Soap operas from South Korea are a common smuggling target because of this. The government oversees and controls all programming on the channel. People in North Korea are also banned from listening to Western music. They don't like Taylor Swift unless she's singing about how amazing Kim Jong-un is, in which case she's fine. Talking about if it's legal to drink alcohol? Since North Korea is so tightly governed and isolated, it often seems as though basic necessities are in short supply, in particular luxury goods. If you're wondering where to obtain a drink in North Korea, you'll have to check this out. The DMZ divides North and South Korea, but do North Koreans imbibe as much as their southern counterparts? And is there something actually affordable to drink if so? And what exactly can you drink? To begin with, alcoholic beverages are freely available across North Korea. Like in South Korea, China, and most of East Asia, it has the makings of a national pastime. Soju is the most popular alcoholic beverage in South Korea. Rice, wheat, or barley are distilled into a transparent liquor called soju. In terms of intensity, it might be anything between 18 and 55 percent. After a meal, it is typically drunk neat. It is at the heart of both North and South Korean culture. While there are conditions in driving to drive a car in North Korea, there are also a number of rules and restrictions that make driving a car difficult. If a civilian driver does not have a special permit, then they are not allowed to drive alone, says North Korean defector Kim Ji-ho. Who doesn't like to listen to music? Apparently, there is no outside music to be played in North Korea. The ruler has a general aversion to music, not just K-pop. Kim Jong-un ordered the destruction of all cassettes and CDs containing music that the government had prohibited in 2015 on the grounds that they could incite Koreans to rebel. Only a select few songs are permitted, and they all have to be political in some way. Talking internationally is also kind of not possible there. The SIM card purchase in one country cannot be used to make calls in another. In recent years, the use of mobile phones in North Korea has become less of a novelty. However, North Korean citizens are not permitted to make international calls or calls to foreigners currently residing in the country. Domestic calls are the only ones that can be made using a local SIM card. And if you're talking about the government there or criticizing the government, well, it's strictly forbidden. People in North Korea are forced to re-education camps if they are found talking or criticizing the government. Inmates will be forced to perform backbreaking labor and undergo ideological indoctrination to help them internalize the values of the regime. So, are you thinking about traveling to Korea? Is it possible to travel to North Korea and in which hotel should you stay? No, it's not possible to travel there. The country is closed off to most tourists and only a few select people are allowed to visit. There are no hotels in North Korea that are open to tourists, so you can only visit there in our imagination. 
But what about North Korea's citizens traveling abroad? North Koreans are unable to travel abroad on vacation since they're prohibited from purchasing foreign airline tickets. Rather than high cost, the main reason it is illegal is because of the prohibition against it. However, there are also limits imposed on movement within the country itself. You need to get someone's okay before you may go see your relatives who live in another city or hamlet. Some North Koreans are able to go to China and Russia for economic reasons. Talking about the food there, well, in North Korea, the most common foods are rice, kimchi, which is fermented cabbage, noodles, tofu, fish, and meat. Other staples include potatoes, corn, and other vegetables. Common snacks include dried fish, nuts, and fruits. How about the military? How strong is North Korea's military? The country's regular nuclear and missile tests make this very plain. North Korea spends almost 20% of its GDP on its military, despite the fact that the economy is in disrepair and the bulk of the people are hungry. There are other countries with mandatory military service requirements, but they are usually much shorter than North Korea's. In the past, men aged 18 and higher were required to serve in the military for 13 consecutive years. The original 20-year term was cut to 10 years in 2003. Involvement of women in required military duty became a reality. After finishing high school in North Korea, female citizens are required to join the military and serve until they turn 23. This mandate was issued in a government decree in 2015. No one will be granted an exemption from this rule. They have over a million regular soldiers and over 6 million paramilitary members. Talking about the conflict between the countries, well, yes, there is ongoing conflict between North Korea and many countries, including the United States, South Korea, Japan, and China. North Korea has been involved in a number of military conflicts since the end of the Korean War in 1953, and tensions remain high between North Korea and its neighbors. North Korea missile attacks? Well, in the event of one, the United States and its allies would respond with a coordinated defense. This would include the deployment of missile defense systems, such as the Terminal High Altitude Area Defense System, to intercept any incoming missiles. The U.S. and its allies would also likely launch a counterstrike against North Korean missile sites using cruise missiles and other precision-guided weapons. Additionally, the U.S. and its allies would likely impose economic sanctions on North Korea in an effort to pressure the regime to end its missile program. North Korea is widely considered to be the most closed and guarded country in the world. It is a one-party state led by the dictator Kim Jong-un and is known for its human rights abuses and oppressive regime. North Korea is perhaps best known for its secretive nature, with tightly guarded borders and a complete lack of freedom of movement. The country is also notorious for its brutal punishments for those who attempt to leave and for its total lack of media freedom and lack of access to the outside world. Despite the international condemnation, North Korea continues to deny its citizens basic human rights and its isolation makes it an effective land prison for its citizens. So, that's going to do it for today's video. If you enjoyed watching our video today and you wish to watch more videos like it, please make sure you like our video, give it a thumbs up, and make sure you subscribe to our channel while you're at it. All you got to do is press that bell icon and you will automatically be notified of the latest uploads here on our channel. Make sure you share our video with your friends and family and others who may find this educational video informative. Hey, we thank you for spending time out of your busy day to hang out with us today, and we look forward to doing it again soon. Thanks for watching.